Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashwat, a student studying in the IB program. And today, I'll be taking you through the basics of LogSec. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so when you first create LogSec, you're prompted to create a local folder. As you know, it's a private app, so all data is with you. And once you create your folder, then you're met with a daily journaling page. So you're met with the current date as your first page. Now, as you can see, there's a toggle over here. This is basically a system like Notion itself as well. So you can basically create toggles and write in those. You can put more information in here and you can you can keep doing that. Now, what I do is a double enter. If you do that, double return, sorry. If you do that, then you get back to the initial page, like the initial indent. So that's quite useful. And you can create toggles to hide information and show it whenever required. Now let's move on to linking pages because that's a very big feature of this app. So there are two ways you can link pages. The first way is by using square brackets and creating your page like this. The other way is using hashtags. So you can do hashtag YouTube and that would also be the exact same reference. So you come here and then you can see all the references that have been made to this particular page. Now as you saw, you don't need to create a page beforehand. You can create it on the fly and edit those pages later, which makes it quite useful. And once you create references like this, then you'll be able to see the graph view and you can see how your notes have been referenced to each other. Like over here, you can see that there's a link between these two. But now if I go, let's say into YouTube and I add a new link called new, then you're going to be able to see another link that is created in the graph view. And that's another link. And over time, as you keep writing, this will keep growing and growing and it'll become even bigger. Like I'll put a picture out what mine looks like right now. So it keeps growing over time and it's quite interesting looking at that. Now let's get into the stylistic features that you have using LogSec. So the first stuff is the hashtag and you put a space after that, you get a header. One gives you the largest header, whereas each time that you add another header, it becomes smaller and smaller. Like you can see header, th header three becomes quite small. And in addition to this, header one and header two have a nice divider on them, so it helps segregate information if that's something you want to do. And in addition, these toggles, if you click on them, it creates a sort of sub page, but not a new page. So you can focus on that particular toggle itself. So anything you add is underneath this toggle only. And if you're, when you're done with it, then you can click back and go to the main page again. Now, in addition to this, it also has extra features unlocked when you use this particular keystroke. So you can see that you get quite a few different options here. So you can have tasks. So if you want to do a task manager on this app, you have all of these options there. You can set a priority for everything. And these ones are not delved much into, but they can be useful if it's something that you want to do. So you can see that even if you aren't remembering all of the commands, you can still access them quite easily using this. And you can search in it as well. Like if I do it tomorrow, then you're able to get it. So these are a few features of locks that you can use. And in addition to this, they also have flashcards. So basically, I don't quite use this, but it's a quite an interesting feature. So if you do close, then you can create a sort of um, card. And once you click on it, you can see a card. So I don't use this much, but it's quite a cool feature if you want to use something like this for active recall. So that's basically the introduction to using LogSec. If you have any questions about LogSec, you can put them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.